What's up, guys? Um, so I am here today with the Firefall beta. I managed to get a beta key for this weekend from Curse.com. They had a limited amount of um, keys to give away yesterday. They're probably all gone, but uh, if you're seeing this, go ahead and run to Curse.com to see if they have any beta keys left. Um, <clears throat> so I got the Firefall beta uh, installed yesterday, and I went to uh, play today. I had some issues logging in. Um, but I finally did get in, and I've actually already recorded a video um, that did not record the sound in-game. And this, of course, being an FPS, uh, it's not fun to watch FPS without the sound of guns. So, uh, I'm starting over, but that's cool. So just uh, keep in mind, I've already done the first couple of quests, um, which were really cool. But let's go ahead and jump in. And I will talk about this game a little bit. So... Um, this United Armies of the Accord screen is like the load screen. It's like the screen before the load screen. It's really annoying. But, um, anyway, so this game has a uh, horizontal progression system as opposed to a traditional vertical progression system that a uh, MMO might have. Um, so it's, it's pretty interesting. I, I look at it as kind of the, the, um progression system of like Battlefield with the uh, game style of an MMO and the combat of a first person shooter and it's really really cool so let's go ahead and jump in and get started I'm currently playing a, a recon which is like a sniper um, right off the bat when you get into the game you're granted a jetpack which is really tight um, Game. It looks really good. Let me double check video settings. Make sure. I'm gonna lower some of these settings for uh, recording purposes. Um, all right. River. All right. So let's see. What quest am I on? Place an MPU into the aqueduct system and protect the installation. So. The minimap is in the uh, bottom left hand corner and I'm looking for, so you can see this quest objective right here, manufacturing station. That appears also on my minimap, so let's get going. I love the jetpack system, it's very cool. So here we are. Oh, with the silicates you found, you'll be able to construct a replacement MPU by printing molecules layer by layer. Load the manufacturing station with the MPU template. It should take only a matter of seconds until it's built and ready to unload. Oh, sorry for that little mishap. My iTunes opened randomly for no reason. Um, okay, so click the flashing icon to unlock one of your free manufacturing bays. All right. Load. Oh boy. Nanoprints. Okay, select a nanoprint to load. Okay, so um, <clears throat> I figured it out. And, uh, oh, build now. Okay, one red beans will be spent. Oh, no. Okay, so I'm waiting for this cooldown to finish. I'm building a basic MPU. Um, let's see what happens after that. Okay, unload. And bingo, Bob's your uncle. It's done. We'll need to take this to the master valve station and install it. It'll propagate the changes to the other valves via SIN and everything should be fixed up. Careful though, the installation creates quite a racket. Likely to attract the undesirables. Alright, so here we go. Let's see what happens next. So yeah, as I was saying before, I am a scout, um, or it's recon in this game, it's basically sniper class. You can see I have a sniper rifle. Um, I've always preferred playing sniper classes, uh, although I see in this game um, something like uh, an assault class being really powerful when I use my offhand. Oh, as you can see right here, perfect example of... Uh, how a high rate of fire can be really sweet. Um, as you can see, that one glitched out 
that big guy glitched out and was not attacking me. Um, but this is a beta, so that is to be expected. These guys are kind of rough. All right. See, that's fun. It's um, it's very Guild Wars 2 style event event like quest work like events um there's kind of like a main quest line at least from what i've uh seen so far there's kind of a basic quest line and um and then events that uh, you can do with other players and stuff um just like in guild wars it's pretty cool i'm a big fan big fan of the uh, style of gameplay they chose I'm a, you know, a huge Guild Wars 2 player, as you guys will notice on this channel. Um, but that would be why I like this style of play so much. But as you can see, the combat is uh, very um, smooth. It's uh, really responsive, really fun, fast-paced, uh, not overbearing. I, I'm excited to see what like a boss fight might look like in this game. Um, oh, got some enemies spawning right on top of me. Let's see if I can snipe some out. Uh, I think I just noticed that green power bar. It's probably yep. Yeah, that must work similarly to uh, the sniper rifle in Team Fortress 2, which powers up uh, the longer you have it um, scoped in. Uh, And uh, as you can see, there's the over-the-shoulder style play. But uh, if you do if you really hate that, all you have to do is zoom in on your weapon, and you kind of get a, a first-person style uh, interface. Now, obviously, you can't run around like that all the time and stuff. But the only time I think anybody's really concerned about whether or not their character is first or third person is when they're actually in combat. So obviously, you can kind of do that. It makes it easier to aim. And, uh, overall, really good game design. Really, <laughs> really excited to play Firefall. I don't think I can stress that enough. This game will be consuming a large amount of my time, that is for sure. Really enjoy the combat. It's really quick pace. I love how they just give you a jetpack right off the bat. I didn't have to do a quest to get it or anything. I just had it right as I came into the game. Really impressive. Um, not sure. I'm kind of just running in circles right now. Ah, I need to go way over there. I've been so distracted with this fun combat. As you can see, weapon switching and stuff, it's really easy, really responsive, quick. It's going to allow for great player versus player. Probably a large, um, large, what would you call it? Uh, skill arc, I suppose. The, uh, the the common word for what I'm trying to say is escaping me right now. But, um... Yeah, I, I don't know. And the music! Whoever scored this game is brilliant. Um, I'm gonna be devastated if it's not recording the sound this time around, too, and just my voice. And if that happens, I won't post this hey, video, but... Yeah, that's my thumper. By chance, you think you could find his missing parts and get it back in working condition for me? Okay, so see, this guy Oil Spill just uh, gave us a quest. Um, but it's like an event, it's not like a quest, which I'm really, I really like that. Um, but he wants us to, so I see this thing in the distance, this crash thumper, and he just asked me to go find parts to fix it, so we're gonna do that. Alright, so right here. I planted a bomb on that thing. Uh, or did I? Hmm, maybe not. Where am I? I had bombs earlier. Um, oh well. So as you can see, uh, playing with that Z-axis can be really cool. 
and allow for some really cool play. But the fact that um, your jetpack doesn't really like last forever by any means also um, doesn't allow for it to be overbearing. I feel like in Ion, I never actually got to play flying PvP in Ion or combat at all. I pretty much logged into that game and realized that it wasn't for me. But um, but I do know about the flying combat, and I also know, obviously, the uh, underwater combat in Guild Wars 2. The unlimited Z-axis combat can be a little overbearing, just because, you know, th there's no, like, equilibrium uh, or equalizer that you have access to at any time. Whereas, um, with this game and the limited jump time, uh, you can give yourself the advantage of a Z-axis, but only for a limited amount of time. And it allows everybody to kind of stay grounded in the sense of what's up, what's down, what's left, what's right, uh, while also um, allowing for that that increased level of gameplay. It's, uh, I find it rather interesting. I need to figure out where the heck I'm going, though. With all my talking and combat, um, I have lost track of what I'm supposed to be doing. As you can see, being a sniper can be effective, uh, as I've landed two kills now from all the way up on this hill, which is pretty cool. Let's see, where is my objective? Okay, I keep passing it. I gotta go over there right now. And see, as long as you give yourself enough uh, fuel in your jetpack, that when if you if you get up really high. As long as you leave enough in your jetpack to uh, to be able to land and stop uh, the pressure from you to fall, you won't take damage. So it's a really useful tool overall. All right, here we go. Let's see what happens. Putting the MPU that I made earlier. Oh boy! Ah, uh, I'm out of ammo on my one good weapon. I gotta snipe all these little little dudes down. This is rough. Hang on. You stole this 25% complete. Nope, still out of ammo. Shoot. Halfway there. You stole this at 50%. Oh, I'm completely out of ammo at this point. Alright. But you can see I can kite pretty well with, uh, ah, with uh, my jetpack. I need to find some Almost. ammunition. Hardware install is seventy-five percent complete. All right. Hopefully this thing installs while I can kite him. Ah, ammo, ammo, ammo. There we go. Here we go, baby. Cabana and I'll buy you a drink. Hey, I might still need your help. The water's flowing, but not nearly fast enough. What do you mean? Well, the resort was never designed to handle as many people as the Accord brought in when they occupied the place. I'm gonna have to turbo boost these pumps, but I need pure seed crystal to do it. I am sure you could requisition the Accord for some. How not bloody likely. The Accord is hoarding every resource it can find. We've got to scavenge our own seed crystal, and we'll need a thumper for that. Luckily, I found a wrecked one that I've been fixing up. I just need Tiki. <laughs> Tiki? My wrecking drone. Tiki can find almost anything. I upgraded his scanners myself. I sent him out on a scan, but he hasn't returned yet. So I'm uploading three of his most recent locations to your sim map. You find Tiki, and I'll get to work restoring the thumper. Alright, so she's gonna help fix the thumper that we need to collect resources. And We're in the right spot. He must be close. I'm looking for... Look at those bubbles coming from the pools. Uh-oh. Let's investigate. Something's happening. I love these You'll events. Holy crap. You'll never big scavengers around. He's hiding from them. You'll need to take them out first. Right now. But 
as you can see, I mean, traditionally I'm pretty bad at uh, FPS games. Um, not from a strategic level, but from, like, just aiming, really. Um, then again, I haven't played a lot of SP FPS on PC, because I just got a PC that can handle playing in FPS. So, most of my experience has been on the consoles, um, as far as first-person shooters go. But I'm really interested in this game. And I just, I find it um, pretty easy to hit people, um, you know? The game takes advantage of large hitboxes, which I think allows for the um, cutthroat gameplay of, of an FPS to happen in an MMO environment where you're kind of dealing with randomly spawned uh, targets and uh, things like that. You know, it's, in a less predictable game, combat needs to be slightly more forgiving, I think, especially in, uh, in the sense of an FPS, because I think uh, in, a, in an FPS MMO, you're going to get MMO fans, you're going to get FPS fans, but, um, you know, it's not gonna be, it's not gonna be, like, uh, Rift, for example, you know, you're not gonna have, like, this really high echelon, I think, of, of, uh, tiered content, it's just gonna be more skill-based, which, uh, I love that, I, I'm totally, I'm always talking about how, uh, games need to be more skill-based, uh, that's why I love playing Guild Wars, because, it's all just skill-based. But this game is rather intense, but it's uh, a lot of fun. It's probably... This is probably the most fun I've had playing in FPS since Modern Warfare 2. Like, this is really... Really awesome. Like to hide here. I feel like it didn't take me long to understand the game, and uh, I'm as a gamer, it's funny. One of my, my one of my biggest flaws as a gamer is it takes me longer, I think, to uh, get used to playing a game, let alone get good at it, uh, than it does to other players. And I struggle with that a lot when trying to play new games. Um, but this game, it let me jump right in, but it also it also eased me in at kind of a quick pace, but an understandable pace. And um, I'm just really impressed with like how quickly I, I came to understand. I mean, you can see I'm I'm running around, I'm kiting, I'm fighting like 20 mobs at a time. You know, I'm low on ammo. The combat's relatively intense. I'm at half HP. Like it's um, but it's it's so much fun, and I feel like I I'm not really at risk of dying easily, but I also feel like I have to uh, play with some sufficient skill to, like, you know, stay alive and, and to be able to keep playing. But, um, I just picked up some HP, and you can really kind of just run around and kite, kite things and shoot at them until they die. It's really fun. Searching the bur the burrows. Oh boy. Oh boy. These guys are a different color. And uh, I really like how you can run around and reload. You don't have to stop to reload or anything. It's um 
a really movement based game, which I'm thoroughly enjoying. I want to try out the PvP. Not really sure if I have access to that right now, or if they've even done that. <laughs> if that's even in the game yet. Um, I thought I saw something about it, but could very well may not be. Um, I need ammo though, so this sucks. That is one thing. I, I find I run out of ammo a lot. I don't know if I just have a happy trigger finger, um, but I feel like my my use of controlled bursts and ammo has been sufficient, at least the for the very beginning of this game. Indicated through sin. But where could he be? I don't know, lady. Alright, well, now that I'm a little lost and out of ammo, I think that's a good place to stop. But, um, I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of insight into what the Firefall beta is like. Um, this game is really, really fun, and I'm really excited to see where it goes. I hope that I can get into more beta weekends. Um, I'm going to keep playing uh, for the rest of the weekend, and um, I will probably have some more videos up of like more intense combat like later in the game. But I just wanted to let you guys kind of see what the game looks like, how it feels. Um, and I'm really excited to play this, and I would assume that everyone else would be too. So, um, y'all have a good one, and this is Tyler from Tilbarge Gaming signing out.